Hello and welcome to the Crossover tutorial series. Today we're going to be showing you how to install Crossover onto your Chromebook. And to show you is yours truly. Hi, my name is Anthony. I work in QA as well as video. Today's installation is going to be organized in two separate steps. The first one is going to be setting up a Linux environment on your Chromebook. And then we're going to install Crossover into that environment. If you already have a Linux environment set up on your Chromebook, skip to the timecode down below. We're going to be going down to our settings menu on our Chromebook. And then we're going to go off to the left side here and click on advanced. This drop down menu is going to give us a few different options and we're going to select developer. We're going to go with the Linux development environment and turn it on. This starts up the setup process for the Linux environment. And this is going to give us a couple of different questions or options at the start. The first one should be pretty easy. It should just autofill whatever your username is. But the second one is actually kind of important. For those who haven't set up something like this before, we're essentially just selecting how much of the internal storage of the Chromebook is going to be dedicated to the Linux environment versus the other half that you've probably already been using for downloading Google Apps and using Chrome OS. We're going to click on custom here. In our experience, 10 gigabytes isn't enough to work with crossover at least very well, but it also depends how many applications and what applications you're planning on installing through crossover. For the purposes of this tutorial today, we're going to bring this up to 25 gigabytes. The nice thing about after setting this up is it's really easy to change the amount of storage you use later on. And you can also just completely reset the Linux environment entirely if you run into any issues. Just make sure you don't go all the way to the end of the slider here. Leave some room for Chrome OS, and then we're going to click Install. And this will start the automatic installation process. Feel free to go grab a coffee or fold some laundry. This shouldn't take too terribly long, as long as you took roughly the amount of gigabytes that we did for our setup. Once this is done, you don't get any fanfare or a prompt. It's just going to show you the Linux terminal here. We're not going to be using this today, so you can feel free to X out of it in the corner. Nice, so we've gotten the Linux environment set up. Now what we're going to do is go get crossover and throw it in there. We're going to close our settings menu here, and then we're going to go down to our browser. At our browser, we're going to go to codeweavers.com. And once we get here on the main page, we're going to scroll down to the top left corner where it says try now. Next, we're going to scroll down here. Make sure Linux is set for the OS, and we're going to put our name and our email here as our credentials, and then hit download trial now. After a couple of seconds, this is gonna start the download in the lower right, as you can see. And once this is done, we can feel free to go to our folder of downloads. If we just double click this file, it's not gonna work because this is a dev file for Debian which is something that Linux uses. So we're gonna take this file and we're gonna drag it down to our Linux files over here. This is copying the file into the Linux container so that it's usable by the Linux environment. Now that the file has been copied, we can click on Linux files and then go to this file here, the crossover deb file, and we're going to double click. This will allow us to start the installation. After clicking install, feel free to hit OK on the next prompt, and then just wait for the installation to finish. Once the installation is complete, you can check your applications by searching crossover, and you're going to see the crossover application right here installed. And now you can start installing and using Windows applications on your Chromebook with crossover. Thanks for watching, and we hope it helped. Check out more of our videos for tips and guides on how to use Crossover, or feel free to check out our website for support, documentation, and more.